It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock till my tape pop. Smoking weed and bitch. Hey, my camera's dirty. Hold on. Oh, my camera was a little bit dirty. Again. But your boy is down 100 fucking pounds. Yo, I feel wonderful. I feel great. I think I'm gonna start with a little 360 type shit. I be on that grind all by myself. Yeah, you wanna stay in touch, baby. Only thing about that is, you know, when you come to a dramatic weight loss, you get a little extra skin, but. We don't worry about that, hit a little bit crunchy and sexy. I am down, I feel good, I ain't never felt so good about myself in my life. I mean, what, what what made me get into water fasting is that, um, first of all, I went through a heartbreak. You, you you feel me? Like a heartbreak is the main thing that'll motivate anybody to do anything in life. Like that that's what somebody would need to just give you that go ahead. And I, I went through with it. It was a lot of mental preparation, but I I definitely went through with it. And here I am now, my baby. Here I am now. Um, my name is Jay Lance. I'm a 26-year-old entertainer, musician, everything as far as that. Um, basically, I I basically went on a half a year fast. I um, fasted for 100, I think 182 days, as far as that, just drinking water and whatnot. After being overweight in school, weighing about an astounding 250 pounds in school, I managed to lose 75 pounds, and boy, I became a hot piece of ass, you feel me? Man, I felt like that nigga. I had my music popping. And I was buying famous. So, why do you want this job? I can't eat! I'm broke, nigga! I'm broke! And you got the power to change that, Kev. Nobody else. You. I love your page, Jalen. It's awesome and you're funny. You just crack me up and I just love watching it. I was a world star. Man, kids by I'm a world star. I had women calling me poppy, man. Then I ended up getting my first girlfriend. Yep. Got my first girlfriend. Damn, all oh, this heavy weight. <laughs> they don't ever pay attention to me. Mine used to be in the most raw relationship that every nigga wanted. I wanted this relationship. My, I seen my man's at the happiest times of his life. As you may know, with many relationships, you fall into a cupcake phase where you're going to eat out a lot, uh, drinking together, eating late, etc. You end up just letting yourself go. Um, as you may know, all good things do come to an end. We broke up, which led to even more depression. Yeah, and it's crazy because I really didn't even know how to really, you know, talk to her. So she blocked me on everything. So the only way I really had to, you know, talk to her, you know, I had to just pour my heart out and, you know, just just speak to her through the music. Start the shit over and call it a truth. Oh. Holding on to your pride, got my heart in the news. I be missing them days I get lost up in you. Oh, yeah. I ain't been myself lately. I drop a four and that's right. I'm back to myself, baby. But what you gonna sleep on the phone? Now we in the zone. Cassie, I miss it. I do. How did I end up with you? All of this shit we've been through, and I was through you with. I 
just gotta know, girl, what your name is. You resemble Zendaya or you famous? The way that you steady slaying tell you dangerous. Part of my comfort was really food. It was, you know, I ate late, a lot of uh, pizza. Um, I love pizza, man. Chinese food. I would say when I really started to spiral out of control is when I seen my ex get pregnant by somebody else. She got pregnant by, I, I guess it was her coworker at the time. And she, I just started to indulge, you know, in so much food. So I just ate at my favorite Chinese restaurant and just find out the girl you in love with having a baby by somebody else. You feel me? Like sometimes, you know, you just got to treat yourself to your favorite restaurant. Why do we do this to ourselves? Every time we get depressed, we eat and eat and eat, don't you? You go to the store and you buy those little candy bars in the bag and before you know it, the whole bag is empty. I weighed 275 pounds. That was my max I ever weighed. I was confused. I stepped on it at first and it said, error. I, I was confused, like, error. <laughs> okay. This looks like we don't have a reading. It gives me a stop sign. After after his, his ex dumped his ugly ass, like, that nigga did not stop eating. Like, he was eating McDonald's four times a day. Yeah, no, after a couple of months, that nigga was just... Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Niggas was not trying to go swimming with that nigga. <laughs> you feel me? After we broke up, it's like she dated a bunch of fit niggas. Like, she would say, like, I, I like somebody chubby with, you know, weight on them and whatnot and whatnot, like a, you know, and everything as far as that. But then you look on IG, she like in Michael B. Jordan's picture. She like in you know, people with their shirt off looking nice and whatnot. And I, I'm over here stuck, like, oh, okay. She called me Tubi Lou and shit. Like, like I'm some type of uh, cuddly teddy bear. Like, she always called me a teddy bear. And it, 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 it got to me. Because you say you want like a, a you say you, you like a teddy bear, but... You, you like a nigga who look like he did like uh, like he did did like uh, six years in the pen. Six, like what? Matter of fact, she ended up going somebody who did six years in the pen. That nigga, man, that nigga's body was that that nigga was he was in shape, and I'm over here looking like Sherman fucking Clump. He jump in the pool, it's gonna just disappear. The water gonna disappear. <laughs> I've been knowing Jay Lance for about going on ten years and everything. I used to think this nigga was a fat bitch, to be honest with you. My nigga weighed 325 at one time, even though y'all didn't see it. My nigga didn't have a neck at one time. But nah, man, I was getting called Sherman Clump, uh, Clumpkin, Pumpkin, shit, uh, Rasputia, Tubby Lou, that shit. I'm not even playing. This nigga did look like Sherman Clump. This nigga, I saw a picture. This nigga looked like the whole nerdy professor. I thought he had a fat suit on. I really thought he had a fat suit on. I thought that nigga was Sherman Clump. I ain't gonna lie. Part of Respution. That nigga wanted to go down the slide and go through it. I don't weigh no damn 300 pounds. I weigh 165. Mary, mother of God. And then um, I visit the doctor and whatnot. They said I was at a high risk for uh, type 2 diabetes and I was likely to get it. Um, they also said that the, the back of my neck was getting getting black. It's well known that if you eat a ton of food before you sleep, it can increase your chances of getting diabetes. We don't need to tell you that if you are very obese because your fingers are hardly ever doing anything other than putting chips, cookies, and all kinds of processed junk into your mouth, you're at risk of getting diabetes. Thing is, I already know how it's like to get all the fat jokes and shit cracked on and get compared to every fat ass celebrity or every big motherfucker that you know. I already know how that is. I know how it's like when you can't even eat a fucking meal while having a whole table of niggas look at your shit or crack a joke. Hey, like this is the fattest motherfucker the snap fuck that y'all ever gonna watch. Like like, yes, it is. It he, is, though. He watching this it meat is. like you better look, finish look, that look. shit. <laughs> who, who you know black to eat chicken wings? This nigga's 700 Nothing. pounds. He's he 4X. 230. 230, actually. 4X. 230. That's his left thigh. That's his left thigh. <laughs> Honestly, it's like I, I felt trapped inside my body, honestly. I, I, would, I would always run like five miles a day. Just got finished at the gym and shit, cleared that five miles like it's nothing. Straight from the gym to the liquor store, you feel me? <laughs> Man, I just worked out like a couple of hours ago, I think, and shit. But we back at it, about to get this little five mile run over with and shit. And so I'm going to pull out beast mode on 20 with this shit now. But you feel me? About to go get this little workout in. Y'all. 
Yeah, y'all know what the fuck we got going on, baby. Show them what we got going on. Hold on. Yeah, you feel? See? Hey, and I gotta look the part. Gotta, you know, get 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 in shape and shit. But you feel? It's going. <laughs> you know what the fuck going on? I'm tired of giving eighty percent. I wanna be a fucking winner, so I'm going to pull out beast mode one twenty with this shit now. But feel me about to go get this little workout in. Y'all run them numbers up on that video. Well, he'll go to the gym, do a workout. Then come home with a bag of Taco Bell full of potato tacos and swear to God that's healthy saying, oh, no, this is how I lost weight before. I said, my nigga, you got to eat right to get the right body. Like, you can't just eat that shit. And you can't just expect, you can't run, run off five miles and then put the shit right back on. It makes no sense. Yeah, going, this is how we eating right now. That's crab meat on top of there, just if you ain't know. Yeah, you feel me? About to get a little sip of this shit. You feel me? Let's go ahead. I also did insanity. I did insanity. I think I made it past day 17. And that was my daily routine. And I will also run five miles after the insanity just to, like I said, when you go to the gym, you can run 15 miles, 20 miles. But you come home, and, or not even come home, you go in the locker room, you look in the mirror, and you, you, you the same person afterwards. A month later, not even a month later, even a, like a couple of days later, you look into the mirror again, and you see the same person, even though you may have lost about three pounds. You still see the exact same person. The thing about that, like I was running five miles a day, and my brother, I guess he found some video on uh, YouTube about some uh, about a guy who did like 30 days of water fasting. I used to be overweight too. You know, I used to be going to the gym, doing all them workouts, coming home, see myself miserable as fuck in the mirror. Like, damn, I'm still fat as fuck, still doing all the same shit. So one day I come home miserable and fat as hell. So I go on YouTube and I type in how to lose 30 pounds in 30 days or 30 pounds a month, something like that. Knowing damn well it, it might be impossible for I'm thinking I know I ain't gonna find no shit But I just wanna get this shit off fast How do I get it off fast I'm tired of just putting in all this work And I see no damn results that quick And I'm just thinking like fuck So then I come across this video I come across this video got this, By this guy named Programmer J He talks about He went on some 30 day water Some 28 day water fast well, Here he goes So that's his top off He's a big guy Day 20 Wow, he's a flexor. This guy flexes This is him. Oh, so that's. I'm thinking. Damn, he went on 28 day water fast. Now in my head, I'm thinking like this shit got to be clickbait. This can't be real. So then it was going through my head at the time. I'm thinking like, you know what? Fuck it. I ain't got shit to lose. I ain't got shit to lose. I'm tr I'm working out, working out, been working out for a goddamn over a year now. I ain't, I ain't even see shit. I used to do all them workouts and going to the gym. Running in the rain, running in the snow. Shit never works, so you know, God bless him with the water fast, and you know. I just say, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Went through with it. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna eat this last bit of Chipotle, just stuff my fucking face, and the next day, go on this water fast. Oh shit. Got the jokes, got made fun of and shit, but yeah. 28 days later, I, I did that shit. Little bump on top of shit though, but you know, damn sure ain't compared to what I was fucking last month. Fuck that, and had to lose all that shit. Yeah, we ain't something shit in either, but yeah, about to be a sexy nigga, get on my Michael B. Jordan shit, get all this little rest of this little shit. And just for anybody wondering this shit, how I lost 40 pounds so fast, I ain't going to no fucking gym, I ain't do no type of fucking weird surgery, no shit like that. All I did is just drink water for 28 days straight, no food, no nothing. And I was hitting the gym, running, 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 running. And he would, like, I would come from the gym and I, I would just see the, 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 the same person in the mirror, like no results. I mean, I know it's a slow process, I understand that. But he was just losing weight like this. Like two weeks went by, he's down 15 pounds. I'm still hitting the gym and whatnot. So I'm like, shit. So after 30 days, I just watched him and he slimmed down a lot. And I remember I was, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm definitely gonna do it and just see see how it see how it worked for me. It worked for him, so I know it worked for me. I mean, so he saw my results and it was like a like a spark went off in his eye. Like, god damn, like that's really my answer to life. Like, I found my answer towards all this weight shit because I've been trying to lose his shit for years and I can never get it off. Then if you check numerous forums where people talk about their fasting experience, you'll find it has helped a lot of people lose weight. You'll see people talking about how they tried all kinds of diets, the low carb, the keto diet, low fat, reduced sugar, all kinds. But for some folks, none of those worked for them. Then they fasted and the weight came off. When my man said he was going to go on that diet, you know what I thought? I laughed. Man, I laughed so hard. It was the funniest joke of the year. 
This nigga said, I'm about to go on the water fast. I said, nigga, you telling me you done uh, filming Nutty Professor? You done eating Snickers bars? You done eating all that? You telling me you let Burger King and you done? My nigga was literally not touching the meal. I tried to feed this nigga some boiler crab legs with some shrimp cocktails and everything. My nigga said no. I went through a heartbreak. You, you, you feel me? Like, a heartbreak is the main thing that will motivate anybody to do anything in life. Like, that, that's what somebody need to just give you that go ahead. When he was doing it, I was the, probably the, most, the least supportive person. <laughs> I'm not even going to cap on nothing. I'm here like, bro, like, what's up? You trying to, you trying to try some of this? Some of this shit that I just made. But I know that he wasn't going to try to eat. Because usually, I don't like sharing. <laughs> I just knew the nigga wasn't going to say yeah. This nigga would make me feel like a fat ass bitch. I'm telling you. Like, we would go to some Texas Roadhouse, right? And this, all this nigga would order is a water. My ass is ordering steak, french fries. My ass is ordering dessert before the waitress even asked for it. Shit. This nigga will make my ass want to fast and shit. <laughs> but, you know, so it was a little rough at first trying to get adapt to his type of diet and whatnot. And I would feel really bad every time I would order some food and have to eat in front of this nigga. I'd be like, bruh, don't make me shove this fucking mo main down your throat. You feel me? Because <laughs> I will if I have to. Just to get that guiltiness out of my head, like this nigga watching me eat, he know he hungry and whatnot. Man, the first day of the fast, that, I, I would say the first day, two days, it's the hardest day because it's like, okay, okay, I started this new thing, what do I do now? And it's like, you feel like, you never know how much of um, eating because it wasn't essential in your life. It's like, okay, now I'm hungry. Uh, so what am I supposed to do? What do I turn to as far as, you know, did, as, you know, to do, 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 do something else, to not eat? Day one and two. The first two days were going to be the most difficult. I felt incredibly hungry, almost as if I had missed several breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. My energy level dropped, and my mood left much to be desired. I was increasingly irritated, and my patience was wearing thin. What was happening to my body at this stage? It went into battery save mode, which means that my metabolic rate became more efficient. In addition, my body was using less energy. It helped to know that I'd feel better soon. It's about day three, and I already lost about, mm, hold on, about five pounds. Hey. <laughs> When your body can't get access to carbohydrates, its favorite source of energy, it starts to use stored fats. As a result, you can lose about one pound of fat every day. This makes water fasting one of the most effective short-term weight loss methods. So today is my first week officially in the fasting. And um, I know I haven't vlogged like a lot of the days just because it's something, it's really something that I had to really adjust to, you know, not eating. Um, at first, I did experience a lot of headaches, you know, a lot of stomach pain. Um, got got angry a lot real fast, honestly. I'm not even going to lie to you about that. It's like, you know, you have no energy to work off of. You get aggravated just like that with, like, the snap of a finger, you get fucking aggravated. I'm, I'm not going to lie about that. Be irritable. You know how it goes. You skip breakfast and lunch, and then you spend the rest of the day rolling your eyes and screaming at the simplest of life's complications. We know this phenomenon as being hangry and it's our brain's way of telling us that it needs energy pronto. As the glycogen stores deplete. All these internal processes influence your mood too, and you become angry and hungry. True story, right? You'll stop feeling hungry. The first few days of a water fast would feel torturous, between the migraines and the unbearable hunger, in addition to the screaming at inanimate objects. But a strange thing happens around day three or four, you suddenly stop feeling hungry. Once your body runs out of energy and flips the emergency gaslight, it starts to feed on fat, and your liver turns this fat into something called ketones. By that time, the much-awaited process of ketosis had started. That's when your body gets down to burning the fat it has stored, as it has no other sources of energy. Surprisingly, I stopped feeling hungry almost all of a sudden. Simultaneously, I started to feel a bit more energetic and less tired. On the other hand, I had some pretty bad headaches and couldn't sleep normally. Hey yo, good morning. I'm super lit right now. Come to find out, stepped on the scale, I lost 19 pounds in the midst of a fucking week. 
I put that on my soul, my mama, everything I love. Hey, I'm fucking lit right now. It's going. I'm going to tell y'all how in a few weeks, so stay tuned. But, hey, <laughs> we own it, baby. Water fasting is clearly a very dangerous weight loss technique. Although after some days, you will lose weight. For one thing, drinking a lot of water will quickly move all remaining waste through your digestive system. But after the initial effects, water fasters could lose between 1 to 2 pounds per day, depending on their pre-fast diet. You'll enter a fasting high. After around a week of water fasting, you could begin to feel elated. The body has adjusted to your pretty ill-advised experiment, and it no longer needs to expend energy on digesting. For that matter, the body is no longer plagued with the nastiness of poor nutritional choices, like excessive salt, fats, and sugars. At this point, water fasters occasionally report a wide variety of benefits, including a faster, clearer mind and dramatically increased energy levels. So yeah, another thing that kept me motivated is I made me a weight loss motivation photo. It was pictures of basically me, you know, when I was skinny and whatnot. And every time I felt like just eating, I would just look at these folders. And there was also pictures of, uh, you know, not only just me skinnier, but of my ex and her new man. And every time I felt like eating, I would just look at it. And it would just motivate me so hard, like, you know, just not to eat anything. Also, old texts, you know, when I felt like, you know, I, I, I didn't feel good enough. I just didn't feel good enough. And I also, you know, just seeing other, you know, other things for her and her man is, no, I'm not about to eat. I'm not about to eat. And I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. And also, you know, Twitter updates and whatnot of how her weight was going. I, I, man, that just kept me going. It just kept me going. I, you know, and it ended up working out for the best. Just updates of my weight. You know, just trying to compare myself. <laughs> so, yeah. Got through it. You know, just drink the water every time. Just drink the water every time you get hungry, man. One thing I really did uh, do as far as to handle hunger pains and whatnot, um... It was this YouTube video that um, my brother told me about called How to Lose Weight in Four Easy Steps. How to Lose Weight in Four Easy Steps. Step one, no beer. Every time you drink a beer, it's like eating seven slices of bread. That's a lot of unnecessary carbs. Step two, portion control. When eating out at a restaurant, cut your meal in half and ask for a takeout container to save the rest for later. Step three, have your heart broken. And not just broken, but shattered by a girl who uh, never loved you and never will. Try to get your shit together and join a gym. Start going to the gym regularly and... Like me, I'm thinking it's about to be a normal video, but that video, man, every day, I would wake up or try to hit the gym, I would watch that video for the whole past, almost like about, almost like going on like a year six months to a year another thing that even really kept me motivated on my fast when i read this quote from kate moss when she said nothing tastes better than skinny feels now a lot of people misheard uh, that but it, it's really saying like nothing like the flavor ain't worth the fat getting on you like nothing tastes better than the skinny feels and i always kept that in my head while even doing my fast because it motivated me to okay i'm gonna be skinny in a couple weeks so nothing no food no mcdonald's no burger king not going the the taste ain't worth the, the taste ain't worth being fat but i'd rather be skinny than be fat just for the temporary flavor or the temporary just comfort of food or just for the taste like one strategy that has been used to stave off hunger by those who have fasted for long periods of time include keeping notes to remind themselves of their motivation behind doing so. They ask themselves questions like, why am I still doing this and what's the point of this again? They then try and answer the question so that the reasoning is fresh in their minds, pushing forward their motivation to continue not eating. Of course, this technique is not always perfect unless you have a very strong self-control like Gandhi. Yeah, and, um, and, and I know another thing I used to do is I used to watch uh, a, a lot of mukbang videos, ASMR, mukbang bomb videos of people eating like people were like what the what the hell that's weird and whatnot like you watching people eat <laughs> yeah i would just watch mukbang channels and watch that how to lose weight in four easy steps video every single day every single day now week two is when you still kind of you you're still hangry but you you you, you come to the point where um you know, okay, I'm I'm seeing a little difference. Like I'm stepping on the scale, my nigga. I, 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 
I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 10 pounds down. You feel me? So The second phase of starvation lasts the longest of the three. During this time, your body fat is the main energy source. Your body drains itself of your fat to keep it sustained. You increasingly feel yourself getting skinnier, but not necessarily in a good or healthy way. It may be here where you feel like your body is screaming at you. I know you want to look good in that bikini, it might say, but please eat something, anything. Help us out here. Resisting its message is not easy, especially if you have access to food. Yo. It's crazy as fuck. I remember back in August, I was 100 pounds away from my goal weight. Now I'm only 25 fucking pounds away. That shit is crazy, man. Yo, I was just thinking, the average person loses about 10 pounds a month working out and shit. I'm gonna lose about 40 to 50 pounds just in one month. So when I first came across Jalen's again, after, you know, knowing him as being like Fat Albert and shit, we was out in the flats and shit, and this nigga made me look twice. I was like, hold up, who's that? Looking like a whole ass snack right there. And <laughs> I was like, damn. So you know I had to make my way through and whatnot. And we chopped it up, and from there it was really history for real. Bro, how this nigga make this happen in such a short ass time? Like, let a bitch know your secret, you feel me? But from there, it was really history and whatnot. But if he would have talked to me back when he was looking like a Rick Ross type of nigga, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm all about sexual attraction, you feel me? Like, I can't have a nigga belly flopping on me while we fucking. Like, that cannot be happening. <laughs> a bitch need to breathe. <laughs> Uh, now week three week three is the, the moment when you really want to keep on going with the shit because week three is when you finally you step on the scale and now you see you down fit you, you you down 15 20 pounds 25 pounds now after 30 long days process is finally complete you feel me um yeah this is me now um 40 pounds lighter you feel me you know i still got a little extra down here I'm gonna explain, you know, why I wanted to keep that in the end. But yeah, this is me here. Like, I give you a, a, a 360. You feel me? From the last time, like, y'all remember me the last time, you feel me? Like, crazy, right? Like, I feel like the Grand Theft Auto character in that bitch. <laughs> No, but um, yeah, you know, it's been a, a long 30 days, honestly, and you know, I, I'm really happy I got it, got it over with. You know, I, I right now I still haven't ate anything. To be honest with you, don't even feel like eating anything, honestly. But um, hey, yo, fuck it, round two, 30 day water fast starts today. I'm going 30 days with no food, no alcohol, no sex, no porn, nothing. The next time I will officially eat food will be on March 4th, 2019. Let's do it, hey. Fuck it, we doing it again, baby, shit. Just sitting here thinking like, I feel like I could probably do another 30 day water fast, you know, go no food for 30 days, just what? Shit, fuck it. Starting today, we doing a 30 day water fast. Hey, this ain't no April Fool's joke. I get got down to 175 pounds. I look fucking fat. Yo, I got niggas in my inbox asking me if I died, passed out and shit. Um, I usually don't give updates, but shit, fuck it. Um, it's been like eight days since the last time I had food. In a week, I'm currently down about 17 pounds right now. Uh, so, niggas asking me, how do you go that long without eating? I got three more weeks, so March, I'll finally eat again. But niggas ask, how you go that long without eating? Easy. I watch old videos like this that keep me motivated. Check this shit out. I man. Yo, so today is the day of the end of my 40-day water fast. Second one. You know, it, it's been a long time coming, you know. I ain't gonna lie right now, I feel sexy compared to, you know, what I was before, but I think it's just time, you know, I'll let y'all see the results come up out this shirt real quick. You know, it is, it is like March, so, yo, it's crazy to think that these are the jeans I was wearing this past summer. These jeans are a size 40. These bit can't even stand up, they, they sagging and shit. Yo, I could fit both my fucking legs and one pants leg. The other pants leg is right here. Two of my legs fit in one. <laughs> ah, fucking leg! <laughs>
As one doctor said online, too, his clients found fasting a lot easier to do than following a strict <laughs> diet plan. Looking at forums, you'll find lots of people saying things like this. Yes, fasting is very helpful. I've lost 30 pounds, went from 20 plus percent body fat to 8 percent so far just from this march. I've been doing it every day since. <sighs> Fish and wing. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, <laughs> I am fucking down 100 pounds. Yo, I'm, I'm about to I'm down 100 fuck. <laughs> I'm thin. I'm thin. Look at my cheekbones. I have cheekbones. Look at my cheekbones. Yes. Look at my chest. Look at my breasts. I'm an acre. I don't even need a bra anymore. Look. Oh God, I'm thin. I'm thin. I'm thin. I'm thin. I'm thin. Oh. That's and that's how down I was. And I was confused. I, I thought the scale was making like an error message. It the scale no longer showed an error message. Like, bro, you really don't understand. This nigga called me a fat, obese teddy bear. Like, I was so sorry. I really wanted to up pole him, bitch. Like, I was, I was stressing. When you fat, like, but. I took a break and I realized success is really the best revenge. So you know what I did? I got skinny and I and I fucked this bitch. That that's it. Like when you fat is really some shit that you really can't escape. So you get mad as shit, my nigga. Like he actually surprises me. I'm like, bro, how do you have all that stamina and have no food in your system? You know what I mean? I'm like, bro, how how the fuck you keeping up and shit? And I'm like, make sure this nigga alive while we fuck it. I'm like, is you alive, bro? Like, do you got energy? You feel me? But the nigga can keep up, so. Oh, man. Still recovering from last night, you feel me? I'm about to go on this little quick run. Hey, I ain't got no food on my stomach, but hey, fuck it. It's too beautiful not to. And it's the first time in my life I haven't been able to run with my shirt off. Man, I'm lit. Hey, I'll holler at y'all, man. What his ex did to him? She literally mentally pushed him forward to do what he wants to do now. When they, after he got that heartbreak, it was a sad moment. So it pushed him forward and dedicated him to be a better man and a better person. I was really impressed by the fact that you let your ex inspire you to take such a drastic change. Like, what does it take for one person to get to that point? So, you know, it takes, I feel like it takes a lot of motivation and courage to even do that. But at the end of the day, you gotta ask yourself, like, am I really doing this for myself or am I doing this for her? But maybe you was meant to meet her so she could bring you to the path to where you bring yourself into a healthy situation. You feel me? See, the thing is, when it comes to Jalen's his ex giving him motivation or the shit he's been through with his ex things, I really kind of went through the same shit for real. Because, you know, I, I had an ex-girlfriend. or I mean, more like an ex-roommate with benefits. Let's put it like that. So, you know, we were dealing with each other and shit. And while we were dealing with each other, you know, I turned into a big nigga for real. Because, you know, she, she was feeding the nigga and shit. You know, I just didn't value myself. I was playing stepdad to another nigga kid. It's the most egregious thing a man could do. You know, I just let myself go for real. So, when she got mad, she used to fat shame, like, call me a fat fuck, call me a fat ass this, fat ass that. Just dog the shit out of me. And the funny thing is, she was the one feeding me. Justin, yes, I'm fat. Fat as fuck. And so are you. I've had children, you haven't. You're still a fat fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Even when I was fat, I still had confidence. You know, I still had was able to pull women. I was still just, my confidence never went nowhere. This is what a dumbass looks like when he falls asleep and got hoes in his phone. You know, even when I was with her, she always used to try to dog me and shoot myself confidence and say I'm not gonna be shit and I'll never be nothing and all that shit. You will never be nothing except the fucking nut that came out of your daddy's dick. That's it. The fuck out of my house, Justin. Get the Man. fuck out. It's time to stop using people. Man. But you know, nigga got lazy, nigga got complacent. But you know, that motivated me. You know, that motivated me to push me further in life. To get back to a right size, shit. 
graduated graduated from two colleges, bachelor and associate's degree. I guess I'm I guess I'm still not shit though. I guess I'm not gonna be shit. I guess, but you know I'm just working on my masters right now. But I guess I'm not gonna be shit. So we ended up eventually splitting ways, going our separate ways and shit. But I said, you know what? I'm not even gonna let them words get to me, for You know what I'm about to do? I'm about to take that negativity and I'm about to put it towards positivity. So you know what I did? I said, fuck it. And I went on another water fast. Ended up eventually coming back around and shit, seeing me. And then she's still funny built like, shaped like Dr. Eggman while I came back shaped like Michael Strahan. <laughs> and I say that really just to say like, for real, you just gotta let that negativity, just let that negative energy just motivate you in life. And you know, I got back down to my slim, sexy size, you know, from hitting the gym, you know, fasting or, you know, running a few times just to maintain my, uh, maintain the weight so I don't gain nothing. You know, started traveling, just living life. Drove from Cleveland to LA. Nigga just broke up, got a relationship and shit. Most niggas just sit there and cry and bitch. But I mean, nah, oh, look, I'm about to be driving across the fucking US. Go all the way to town and just turn the fuck up. That's how you handle, that's how a real man handles the fucking problem. He don't sit there and cry and bitch and get drunk over a fucking bitch. Like, what? I mean, you tripping. Hey, I found your first pictures. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Trippin', it, bro, it's still dangerous. <laughs> Hell, bro. God damn. Oh. <laughs> Nigga, chillin' this ass. Oh. A quick, short, sweet announcement real quick. Look, I'm tired of people telling you what you can't do in life. You can't do this, you can't do that. Look. Some bitch got my license suspended because I got a DUI and a reckless drawing on my shit. And I said, fuck that and took a whole road trip from Cleveland to motherfucking Cali with my whole driver. You know, just having fun, just living it up for real. Meeting new people, uh, getting back on my purpose to shoot videos and shot a video for, uh, for the baby a few times. Which ended up getting on the top box of world star hip hop, BT, MTV, mainstream TV. You know, just living my life. And after the glow up, she wanted to show up and come back up crying and shit. I just want you to come home. I'm over this shit. I don't want to be without you no more. I really love your whole fucking life. And if you love me too, we're gonna work it out. I still want to sit on your face though. Seriously? I hate you so much for doing this to me again. Hey, it's so unfair, like. <laughs> doing all that, but the thing is, why would I go backwards? Like, why, why would I even go back to that? Even if you, um, even if you go back to an ex when they want you back, she's still not gonna respect you. So I wouldn't even go backwards, even deal with that shit again. That's just dumb as hell. I would never do no shit like that. But yeah, I just had to get back on my purpose, get back on my shit, you know, glow up. And let y'all know you can do anything you put your fucking mind to, man. I put my mind to something, I'm now the sexiest nigga in the 800 mile radius of Cleef, and I say that with no smirk on my face. Fuck your opinion. I can have any girl in the world I want now. Any ex I ever dated, I can have back. But that's not what I'm focused on. And with that being said, let people's laughter motivate you. Let the word no and owe me new opportunity. Somebody gonna say no, it's always gonna be somebody to say yes. Don't ever let nobody fuck y'all up. I'm about to go in here and slave right quick. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Thursday. I'm out this bitch. To be honest, when this nigga slimmed down, I told you, like I said before in the last thing I said, I was, I'm a buck 88. This nigga made me want to fast. He wanted me to be, get even more skinnier. I'm a buck 88. This nigga wanted me to be 100 pounds because I'm looking at this nigga like, damn, this nigga got bitches flocking on him now. So now that this nigga got slim, right, we be hitting the clubs together and shit. And I'd be like, yup, that's my boo right there looking all skinny and shit. <laughs> you feel me? But bitches be looking at him like this nigga Trey songs or something, right? <laughs> you wanna keep looking at me and shit? <laughs> I'm Jay Lance, that's the one. I'm Jay Lance, that's me. My baby, that's me. That's me. See how beautiful I am? Like, you are so good. I'm just saying, like, you don't see how beautiful I am? <laughs> you don't see how Oh, you shy. I'm not. Hey, 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 we not. <laughs> oh, man. And when bitches be approaching this shit, you know I gotta bring back them flashbacks. I be pulling out my camera like, this nigga used to look like this. <laughs> this nigga used to look like this. <laughs>
look like. So don't go there with me, bitch. Because I'll bring out this nigga's fat memories. You already know me, for real. But at yeah, the same shit, time, like, I used to let this nigga build up his confidence, you know? Like, people approaching him and shit. Fucking nigga, you deserve it. You feel me? You put in some hard ass work. God, I just wanna pray and thank you for making me such a cute nigga. I went from CeeLo Green to CeeMo jeans, touch ankles. I look like Denzel and Michael B. Jordan. Index finger, pinky, eyebrows. Hey, Amen. Yeah, but he was skinny. You feel me? And best believe I roasted that ugly ass nigga every time I could. And um, you know what? That nigga can finally fit into them jeans. That he knew damn well he was never gonna be able to fit in. You feel me? They might be women's size jeans, but he did, you know, he reached the goal, right? How I felt on the last day of the fast, honestly, it's kind of like a bittersweet and whatnot, because it's like you, you you finally get to eat again, but then you're gonna miss, you know, stepping on the scale. The two weeks from now, I'm seeing you drop down like 20 pounds and everything. So it, it was a bittersweet as far as that. So I think that's after the first one I looked in the mirror, I wasn't satisfied when I seen myself. So I decided to do it again, but. Yeah, the last day is a real bittersweet. So, see your boys looking <laughs> nice, you feel me? And with that being said, you can do anything you put your fucking mind to, nigga. And shout out to everybody that ever cracked a fat joke on my ass, because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for y'all. I told y'all niggas I'm coming back in this tweet. I told niggas I'm coming back. I'm back, baby. Ah! <laughs>